verse number seven, where we'll we'll pull our, our, our lesson out today. Peter said, casting all your cares. He said, casting all your cares. Because he wanted the people to know you cast these cares because God, he cares for you. The first point is you are in this verse. You are in this verse. If you go back to the text, 1 Peter chapter 5, the Bible says, casting all your. Casting all your, meaning you are in this verse. Casting all your. See, that's me right there. That's, that's you right there. Though Peter was speaking thousands of years ago, it's applicable today. Now, the word cast, the cast means to throw, it means to throw upon, throw upon. Y'all say throw upon. So, so Peter said, I want you to throw something up there. I want you to throw something upon. I want you to send something up. Unfortunately, we live in a very impersonal society. We live in a society where we are desensitized to people. There was a time when you could pick up the phone and call somebody. There was a time when you could have a, a conversation with someone and just shake their hand and come to an agreement. But today, we send text messages. Matter of fact, it goes back further. You remember the days when you had the big phone in your car? Y'all remember the car phone? You weren't somebody unless you not only had a phone in your car, but you had to have the antenna sticking out in the back. Come on, somebody. Who remembers those days? And then the, the beeper came along. Then the mobile phone, the flip phone came along. Then the smartphone came along. Then the uh, iWatch came along. But we live in a time now where it's quicker for me to email you. It's quicker to text you because you don't have to put the emotions in the two-way communication. The good thing today is that this text is not impersonal, but this is a personal text. The Bible says, cast your, your cares. Heaven revealed this text to all of us today so that you can insert your name right there in verse number 7. Heaven brought you here to put your name right there in verse number 7. Exodus chapter 33 and verse 7. And the Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you and I know you by name. Isn't that something? God knows you by name. Out of all the billions of people that have ever walked the face of the earth, he knows you by name. He knows how many hairs you have on your head. He knows every single thought that you've ever had. He knows every idea that you've ever put together. He knows every goal that you've ever had inside of your mind. God knows you. That's why uh, Peter is saying, you've got to throw something up there to him. Number two, not only is your name, not only are you in this verse, but secondly, your cares are in this verse. The Bible says, cast, throw something up there. Throw it up there. Send it up. Send your cares upon him. Now, some versions may say anxiety. If you're looking at the NIV, uh, anxiety. Uh, throw your anxiety. Hold, what is anxiety? Anxiety means an excessive care, excessive worry over circumstances it's not just any kind of worry it's not just any kind of care but it's an excessive worry it's an excessive care over circumstances that you do not know how to handle anxiety brings great problems anxiety impacts impacts you physically it impacts you in mental ways did you know that anxiety is the most common mental health disorder, especially in the United States of America? 
We as a people tend to worry. We call it future tripping. You're tripping out over something in the future that hadn't even happened yet. Your mind, you ever heard that day by day is more impossible to cope? My mind is playing tricks on me. Dun, 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 dun. Y'all remember that song? Dun, dun, dun. Come on, those. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. So anyway, so I, I, had a, I had a flashback there. I had a flashback. But, but, but the point that I'm trying to make is that the song is my mind is playing tricks on me. Can anybody feel me this morning? Has your mind ever said one thing and, and you were thinking something totally different and all of a sudden you have all these head conversations going on in your head? You're predicting negative outcomes. You're, you're saying something is happening that's not even happening. You're speaking something as though it is, and then you find out it was nothing even like that. Then you feel so bad. Over 40 million people suffer with an anxiety disorder every single year. In Houston, Texas, one out of 13 Houstonians experience anxiety and depressive disorders every single year. A lot of times when people go through anxiety or they worry a lot, they find different ways to, to cope with the anxiety. Many turn to illicit substances or, or, or drugs and alcohol. Some go to gambling, trying to hit big in Vegas or trying to, to win that, that big ticket to thinking that that's going to make all of their problems go away. Some look at pornography to try to release the stress. So they go from sexual relationship one after the next, trying to, to think that that's going to help them feel better about themselves. Some go shopping. They go shopping to eliminate the anxiety. Can I get a witness this morning? And, and you see, and you see a, a, a lot of, it, it's okay, I, I want to say this to anybody who takes medication. You are not alone. You are, something is not wrong with you like society uh, 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 depicts. Did you know that 90% of people in the United States have some type of mental health challenge? People just cope with it differently. The, Bi the Bible says, cast all your what? Give your, your, your care. So whatever your care is, give it to God. Now, the reason Peter could say that, well, here's number three. Here's the third point. Number one, uh, your, you are in the verse. Your cares are in the verse. And thirdly, thirdly, Jesus is in this verse. He said, cast all your cares upon, upon him. Now, how does Peter know that he that you can cast your care on Jesus. Well, he knows because in verse number one, he said, I appeal as a fellow elder, and I personally was a witness of what Jesus went through. So he was able to, to, to encourage the brothers and sisters to give it up to Jesus because he personally saw what the Lord went through. Someone has a care, someone has a worry, and Peter said, I want you to, to cast it up to the Lord. Why the Lord? You remember in John chapter 6 when Jesus was preaching the gospel? And they came up to him and said, this is a hard saying. This thing right here, this is it's tough right here, Lord. We're we, we struggling with this one. And the Bible says they turned and walked with him no more. And then he looked at the other disciples and said, now what you going to do? Well, what you going to do? And they said, Lord, to whom shall we go? We, we, we rocking with you on this. We, we riding with you on this. And so I want to make this personal to somebody. I want to make this personal. The Bible says in Psalms 46 and verse 1, God is our refuge. He's my refuge. I, 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 I'm going to give it to him because he, he's my refuge. He is the one that's going to cover me. He's my strength. He's my help in the time of trouble. Can anybody testify this morning that had it not been for God, the Lord by your side, you wouldn't be where you are right now. It was God who delivered you. It was God who brought you to where you are today, and you've got to give God some praise. That's why when we come into the house of God, we can't sit here like, like God just ain't done nothing for you. Excuse my English, but I've got to come in here. I've got to give God some praise. I, I got to give him some praise. And let me tell you, I'm not just giving him praise on Sunday. 
Let me tell you, he ministered to me on Monday. He talked to me on Tuesday. He worked with me on Wednesday. On Thursday, he taught me something. Friday and Saturday, he carried me. Sunday, I just got to come in and give God some praise. And then finally, I want, you, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. So cast all your. You see that? That's you in the text. Cast all your cares. There goes your anxiety right there in the text. On him. There, there goes Jesus in the text. You know, he's, he's the balm in Gilead, right? He's the first and the last. He, he's the bread of life. He's the light of the world. He's the, the living water. So, so, so there's Jesus in the text. Now, because he cares for you, which is my fourth point, there's your peace in this verse. So if you throw, if you throw your cares up to Jesus, then you're going to have some peace. In this verse, when God is silent, not only is God working on you. Oh, can I preach this? Watch this. Not only is God working on you when he's silent. You, you're the vessel now. You're the vessel. You're the vessel. But God is also silent, number two, because he's working on the people that he's going to bring in contact with you. He's working on somebody that you've never met who's never even heard of the Lord. And it may take a year to get that person ready. He's working on a broken family right now, trying to restore that family. Because when he connects you and that family, that's when the revelation is going to come. See, when God is silent, I can't make it about me. When he's silent, I've got to work on me. But secondly, I have to remember that he's, he's working on everything around me because he's getting ready to bring me together like he did John the Baptist and baby Jesus when Mary and Elizabeth came together. God had to work that thing out. And then thirdly, I'm still in the text. Thirdly, watch this. Not only is God working on me in the season of silence, not only is God working on everything else around me, but thirdly, God, when I cast my cares to you and I don't find the peace right away, in other words, God is saying, it's because I have gone ahead of you and I'm fighting all the battles and all of the demons and all of the roadblocks and all of the obstacles. I'm trying to clear the path for you so you can walk in victory and not have to fight it on your own. So somebody this morning, you ought to send it up to God. Stand on your feet with me today. Send it up to God. Thank you for watching the video. Tune in Sundays, 9.30 a.m. Central Time to view our channel. Take a second and hit that like button. And don't forget to share it with all of your friends and family. My name is Brandon Holt, minister to the Connect Church of Christ. And I look forward to meeting you. God bless.